Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up the Pom Pons. We are a mother daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair from the way we style and care, as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all of my return subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video where I have my oldest daughter, Kalia, here. So, y'all see all this hair? Absolutely. This Will be the cause of my arthritis when I get old in age. So here I am prepping her hair. She's been freshly washed and we are about to blow dry because I'm styling her hair into some cornrows if you did not catch that thumbnail. So I am using my shark blow dryer that I purchased off of Amazon. I love this thing. It's so quiet and so powerful. If you do want to check out any of the products or accessories or anything that we are using in our video, you can check it out on our Amazon storefront by clicking that link down below in the description box. So here I am detangling what hair she calls a mane absolutely insane how much hair is on this child's head and I like to do this before I go in with the blow dryer because it just makes getting that blow dryer and that brush through her hair it just makes it a lot easier cuts down on the detangling time and all that good stuff so I do allow her to sit around the house for probably about 30 minutes or 45 minutes I don't like to blow dry her hair while it is soaking wet because that makes my dry time like so much more longer this I and then with using that shark blow dryer it usually takes me no more than five minutes per section if that so I always set it on the full forced air and I use the medium heat I um, sometimes I'll go in with the high heat it just depends on how straight I want her hair to be but since we're just doing braids she doesn't need anything like bone straight I just want it to be straight enough to blend in and have these nice beautiful clean cornrows when we're done I like to pull her hair nice and tight and then go up and down the shaft of the hair with the blow dryer before I pull out the paddle brush and begin to uh, detangle some more and blow dry. It gets a little wild so you definitely have to be careful with this because you can cause more tangles if you don't have control of the air and the blow dryer. And then sometimes I like to switch out the brush and go in with my detangling brush. It just depends on my mood and how her hair is you know, cooperating for that day because hair is a mood and sometimes it just don't be in a good one. So once I do all of this blow drying because her hair is in four sections I work in these four sections I'm then gonna go in with the pretty strands hair oil to seal up all of her hair with the oil this is going to have bring shine back to her hair as well as keeping it moisturized while it is in this protective style So here she is after about 30 minutes of blow drying. All sections are completely dry and her hair looks so beautiful and healthy. I love admiring her hair when it's in its blow dry state. Now I am going to pre-part her hair. We're doing three levels of these cornrows. So uh, these cornrows are called layered braids. I've seen them called Fulani braids. It just depends on what region you're in. There's a different name for all of them, but they come down to just being cornrows. So I'm going in with the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers Gel. I love using this gel when it comes to doing braids on myself and Kalia included it has a nice hold but it is a conditioning gel so it doesn't do all that flaking that you usually experience from edge control gels I like to take a line across her part where I pre part it and then I go behind it with a rat tail comb to make it nice and clean Once the part is to my satisfaction, I believe it is as straight as I can get it. And I'm not good with geometry. So sometimes the lines could be a little crooked, but it's okay. We're going to roll with it. I'm then going to go on to the next section. I first do my pre-parting, add my gel to the part, then trace it back over with my rat tail comb. And I'm going to braid it up and pull it to the side. So everything will already be parted and ready to go in its sections. I don't have to worry about fighting with all this hair trying to get the braids in. Thank you. 
I really like to pre-part before I actually go in and braid. It gives me a layout of what her hair is gonna look like. And if anything looks a little crooked, I can always go back and fix it once I get to that section. So this always works for me to making sure I have everything even and as straight as possible. Now that everything has been pre-parted, I'm now gonna go into my first section to create my first braid. Now with this style, everything is pretty much straight. So I'm not doing anything funky with any curves or you know any crisscross or anything like that. I want to keep this very much simple, but I wanted her to have more than just straight backs because I wanted her to have more braids, like a fuller amount of braids in her head. So that's why I'm going in with the multiple layers of straight braids. So I'm going to show you my method of how I install feed-in braids because this is going to be a feed-in braid style. I'm using 64-inch hair because y'all. I'll see how long my child's hair is and this probably gives me maybe three or four inches to play with once I'm done braiding her hair it, uh, braiding her hair up she only has about three or four inches of hang time after I've put in the braiding hair so when installing the braiding hair what I am doing here is taking a piece of hair and putting one side between my index finger and my thumb to hold it in place and then the other one goes right over that piece of hair that's hanging over my index finger so I continue to braid do a nice rotation of hair until I'm back holding the hair with my left hand and I use my right hand to add in the hair this just helps me because I'm right-handed if you are left-handed it, just switch hands and use your left hand to add in the hair but there are so many different ways to do feed in braids everybody has their own method this is just what works for me to where the hair still looks neat and not too you know bulky definitely be careful with the size of the braiding hair that you are adding in if you add in too much at one time it can definitely look very unnatural and we want this to look as natural as possible I zoomed in and I slowed it down so you guys can see just exactly how I am adding in the braiding hair pieces. I only add in three pieces per braid. I don't want it to be too thick, nor do I want it to be super long. Although Kalia's hair is already long, if I make it any longer, it's gonna be touching the back of her kneecaps and she don't want those problems. So I try to keep this at least waist length, which her hair is already waist length, I know. It is such a conundrum when it comes to doing her braids, but I like to add in the braiding hair because it helps with the longevity of her braids. I could definitely just braid her hair with her natural hair and not use the braiding hair, but the style just does not last as long unless I add in that braiding hair. I don't know what it is, but that braiding hair definitely helps with preserving it. And since Kalia does not like to wrap up her hair every night with a bonnet consistently, I have to add in the braiding hair because it definitely saves me from all the frizziness that she would experience with just wearing her natural hair. I still can continue to use the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers Conditioning Gel. It's definitely going to help with adding shine to her hair and giving that hold. And as I'm going down the shaft of her hair doing the braid, I also add some to her natural hair too because this helps with tucking in her natural hair so that nothing is sticking out and frayed. And this is what it's going to look like after that first row is done. I'm finishing off the braids at the top of her head. I did a middle part on her for this style. I have seen some people do this style with a side part and I definitely was debating between that middle part and that side part. But I felt like the middle part would have been better cause she wouldn't have to worry about the hair from one side swinging in her face. This one, she kind of has like this even, you know, nice middle space for her face to be clear. Though my children have all this hair, they hate when the hair falls in their face and it can be annoying. You're constantly pushing hair out of your face. And here she is all done. I did dip her ends in hot water, but I did that off camera. And I also use some foam, something cheap I had on hand. I used the Suave Max Hold Mousse uh, to help with the flyaways. And I tied it down and blow dried it to help with sealing it all in. But her parts look really clean. This style did last her a month, which I am so glad because it gave me a month of not having to worry about doing her hair. And we took it out and restyled it into some more braids which y'all will see that video next couple of weekends thank you so much for joining us on another video be blessed and be safe